Hello guys, Chug is Capri Sun here, welcome back to more Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, we had the Carnage Warrior here, and in this episode, we have... Yep, and we just did a dual commentary for his video, um, if it, I guess the link will be in the description or something. Yeah. And, um, so basically, <laughs> we had the story and everything of this lady, this Indian woman. From right. right. Well, if you guys want to really hear the first, the whole story, the link's gonna be in the description to my channel. If you guys want to um, see that one first, the video kind of understandably actually get it but you know we're just gonna say it again if you guys are too late in the description and uh um, so we start us off with the story tripping well basically during spring break the carnage warrior and i were we were going to rite aid and buying candy and all and an arizona tea because they were having sales on the stuff and all 67 cents oh my god yeah 67 cents for an Arizona and um then as soon as we like we one day went in and we found these mics for $15 yeah I didn't want to go down the aisle and he did and we or he found those mics and for $15 and they work really well also I mean they're really clear as you can probably hear right now and um it was just really shocking so we decided to hide them behind um a bunch of other junk and we came back the next day to buy them yeah so yeah our plan worked and when we went back to go buy them and all there was this Indian lady and well, uh, you you okay. say this. Okay, I'll I'll take it all from here. Okay, so we came back and we had the money to get our um the things that we wanted, like the microphone and stuff. So we got that plus the USB ports that um, we're probably gonna get later. I'm gonna get them later, and he got a cooler, right? Uh, yeah, I got a laptop cooler thing. Okay, so we go up to the counter. The thing's fifteen dollars, and I have this wellness card. But she says to me that it's sixteen dollars, and we never get cash, ever, right? Yeah, we People, like no one at that store. Yeah, yeah, we never got taxed there. And then she randomly goes, "Oh yeah, it's sixteen dollars," and. She's like, doesn't matter. Still have tax. Something like that. Her English wasn't that good. Yeah, it was crazy, and I was all like, but we never get tax. That's the store that we always go to. We always go to that store. Yeah, and then she literally gives him like a cold shoulder and a hand to the face thing. And he's just like, that's that's not cool. So I go up expecting like twenty dollars because I got the cooler for six dollars more and then she's like 30 even after the wellness card I felt like she added five dollars for me and um like one dollar for him no two dollars for him Yeah, it's just a good thing that I needed this stuff and had the money, but man, 
That was a freaking ripoff there. No, I felt like <laughs> I know, like, as soon as she told you 16 and me 29, you just looked like you never wanted to go back. I mean... Really? Wow. Yeah, that was just like I don't know. I mean, we still have the USB port things there. <laughs> yeah, we hit them in the same spot we hit the um, microphones at. Yeah. She's lucky that I really wanted these microphones. This microphone. If, if this microphone, if it, like, I don't know. If it said, like, oh, not a good speaker or something. <laughs> you know, no microphone would say that. I could have, I would have just walked out that door if I didn't have faith in the door if I didn't believe what Kyle said. Because I didn't really, at first, like, the whole time, I didn't really think. I thought Kyle was just a little over exaggerating about the mic. He's all like, you just really good at that. But I didn't, if I didn't take his word and I thought he was lying, I thought we would have just left right there. Yeah, I mean, well, you would have gotten the candy first and then you would have left, but. <laughs> I didn't get candy. You didn't get candy, right? Yes. No, the, the day we found them, we got candy. The day we bought them, we didn't. Yeah, I'm talking about the day we bought them. Oh. No, we didn't. Yeah, I mean, I don't even really want to go back for the USB ports for a while, because like, that- Yeah, probably. Like once a week or once every two weeks, because we go there like every week. Or at least once a week. Well. That was at least for summer. I mean, for the spring break. Yeah, for the spring break, we went there. No, not once a week. We went there like five times a week. Yeah. So we're gonna probably be going a lot in the summer. Just to get things we need or something. Yeah, well like, and just even like mild toys, but then they have like... Medicine. I mean, I know it's a pharmacy, the whole point is a pharmacy, but you forget about that because it's way in the back. One, because it's way in the back. Two, because a lot of people don't know their snacks. Yeah. But... And I just, it's just a lot of stuff there. Yeah, and they had this whole aisle of like computer stuff they had mouses or mice or whatever they're called um and they stock up on some new stuff every day because when i went back there to get the mice i saw a couple of new stuff like the extra usb ports i saw some of those yeah like i don't know Um, 
depending on the price of them. Yeah, but if it was like either GameStop prices or like you know stuff like that, mm -hmm. I'd probably um, still get them. Hey, funny GameStop prices—they're pretty bad. Yeah. Really expensive, Maybe I don't get a chance to talk. Well, I guess basically the... The whole idea of the righted thing... Um, don't... Go when an Indian lady's there because they overprice everything. Well, I guess true, but like when that ladies. Yeah, that particular Indian lady. Ugh. Yeah. Like, even if he randomly goes, Oh, could I keep the camera? We won't even let him touch it, most likely. Because he breaks every camera he touches. That was his fault, also. That was, like, badly his fault. Well, you better do it soon, because there's almost five minutes left. So he's not out of 8th grade yet, and he's all like, what are we going to do with the camera after, um, when we go to college? And I'm like, really? <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be broken, but... Yeah. 
it's not even broken, it's sprained. Alright, so... He decides to go jump off of a slide. And we tell him that... He needs to jump, or... No, that he needs to roll when he lands, like... Otherwise, it's going to hurt him. And... This is what he does. As soon as we say, Alright, you have to roll, and we've been saying this, like, every five seconds. Yeah, we told him, like, 50 times. No, like, 500 times. And then, as soon as he's ready to jump, he lands right on his feet and does not roll. I mean... Like... He tried to blame it on us today, and I'm like, really? It's kinda your fault? It's a small little wimp. A tendon. He stomped an easter egg also. With his bad leg. He was even running. Yeah, so... Ah, I don't know. All it is is an ace bandage and crutches. And... Which he does not know how to use crutches. I might add. But I could say that's kind of sad because... Those are like the easiest things to use. Yeah, and then, ow, it was just some really sad and pathetic thing, like, who does not roll though after making a big jump, like, your body even forces you to roll if it's big enough, and that was big enough to roll for automatically. Well, he's like five two and a half, but. Yeah, like thick boys. Well, he cries a lot and gets eat mad real easily. Well, I guess thank you guys for watching and um, have anything to say? Bye.